very, very quiet dining room, so I feel like I need to whisper again. I am here right at the beginning of service. Slept really good after the activity <laughs> yesterday. Figured that was going to happen, but got to prepare for day two here at Coco Key. The weather is, well, at least it's better than it was yesterday, it looks. Hopefully this will clear up in an hour, probably before the uh, clear, where we're clear to go ashore, so that uh, will be good. And um, interesting seating choice this morning. I, uh, I don't know if they expect me to hold court or anything like that, but it is still just me and that's fine. All right, gonna have a breakfast and menu is the same every day, which I kind of knew, but I was hoping it would be different. That's okay. I'll still take a look upstairs and see what's uh, going on. All right, so I should be here in a minute, and uh, that's uh, that's when things start to roll. We are starting today with a breakfast burrito. Uh, inside is eggs, cheese, chorizo, and I think other veggies, onions, and whatnot. A side of salsa, or salsa on the side, a side of bacon, and some uh, sour cream on the side. Is that sour cream? Yes, sour cream on the side. I had a muffin. They didn't have the uh, chocolate pastry they had yesterday, which was pretty good. Okay, all right, enough talking. I'm about halfway through breakfast and they just announced uh, we're cleared to go ashore. It's fine. Have all day and uh, weather is getting better, so not really worried. Anyway, I hope I don't get anyone fired by saying this, but uh, this breakfast burrito is amazing. Best meal I've had so far in the last all two days, but it is significantly better than anything else I've gotten. So whoever came up with this, um, yeah sorry but it's really really good definitely uh would recommend i've never had it before i don't know if it's a new item i don't really remember seeing it but i will remember it now and well it's uh it's gonna be this over the benedict it's a very large you saw it uh portion so i'm actually taking a break <laughs> i know <laughs> uh before i finish it but i will because i will be uh out there all day in the water park in the water and uh yeah i need to uh do as much as I can to get ready. I'm kind of worn out, which is awesome. All right, enough talking and uh, more eating. And it does look like we are in for a more perfecter day at Coco Key. The sun is shining and the forecast is very good with one minor exception. We'll have to see how that plays out, but I guess it's uh, time to go and uh, get changed up and uh, do it all again. And here we have the not quite fully operational Flow Rider, although I don't think it opens for a little while, so I guess uh, the team is just doing their pre-flight ride? Uh, what do you really call this? Checks. We'll find out. I guess tomorrow. Well, just to be clear, I am not flow riding tomorrow, but it's a sea day, so we will definitely watch some of the festivities at some point. Glad to see the Windjammer is a beehive of activity, as always. People crowding around the stations, almost running into each other. Uh, you don't really have to look for our tables, which is good, but, well, it's good to have all that commotion back. But that does mean we can all start to complain about it tomorrow. Almost back to the island, and yes, I am not being lazy. Unfortunately, with all the moving around and everything, I can feel this knee, so I want to chill out a little bit and cheat, I guess. I'll probably end up walking around the island three times anyway, and of course walking back to the ship. But for now, let's just enjoy the nice tram ride. And we are off, speeding to the island. I'm, I'm sitting in the back of the cart, and there's only this one little, I don't know, guardrail. This is, this has the potential of being the best ride on the island. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, uh, au revoir, fair adventure of the seas. Uh, well, I'll see you again in about, I don't know, seven hours. Oh, boy. Off the trolley and about to attempt to enter Thrills. Seems uh, changing a simple reservation is either going to work okay or be comically complicated. So I'm not sure what's going to happen now. I'm going to scan my card and see if it works or I have to go and see someone. I wasn't terribly sure. 
but it's fine. I'll get in. I just don't know how much effort it's going to take. All right, uh, let's try and let's try and tap the magic. It did go as I think I should have expected. I tapped in. I bought a ticket, and now they're going to credit yesterday and reprice today to match that one. They can't just move the reservation or anything like that. So, bit over complicated, but in a weird way, I understand it. So, we are in, and that's good. But there might be a battle looming. I will tell you all about it, although I really hope I don't have to. Welcome to a jam-packed Thrills water park. As you can see, it is a pretty heavy crowd day. Uh, this is maybe what we're expecting uh, for the 50th anniversary at Magic Kingdom. Uh, there's a whole two guests waiting for that slide. Uh, I think there's one person in the wave pool. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have like wait times or anything, so it's kind of hard to estimate, but I, I'll just have to play it by ear and, and try and strategize through the day, through the day to um, I don't see how much I can get done. Um, I mean, you know, I really, really don't like crowds, so I don't know. I don't have to stay, but I figure I'll, I'll come and try it once and see how it is. All right, so I don't know. Um, yeah, oh, see, there's someone over there. I, it's, oh, well, I'll make the best of it. Don't worry. Well, they at least do have a number of uh, beach chairs out and ready to go. Uh, well, different colors if you prefer one, but like yesterday, I did notice this. Uh, and this is something the cruise lines, they really haven't found a good way to deal with. Uh, you know, the chair hogs are out in full force today again. Eventually, I don't know, maybe some kind of reservation system, but uh, you know, for, did, for today, it's probably not gonna affect me. Okay, you know, now might be a, a good time to go in the wave pool. Um, it's not too crowded. You see uh, there's a young lady standing over there and uh, someone swimming on the wall. So this is kind of my speed. So this would be a, a good first thing to just you know, get wet a little bit uh, and I don't know, get a good start on the day. But first I'm headed to the towel station and well, thankfully I have pretty much conquered my fear of sand and uh, we are making our way over there. You know, just little steps every day. Well, I totally lucked out, uh, the other guest has left. So uh, I guess I can enjoy the entire wave pool on my own. Well, as it's getting later in the day, it's getting kind of packed, so I decided to move on to the next attraction. I did mention at Atlantis that I'm no longer a huge fan of body slides, but that seems to be the uh, dominant form factor here. So we'll give it a try. Uh, although the two on the left there do appear to be tube slides. I just hope they're not tandem slides. That would be uh, a bit frustrating, but <laughs> I'm about to find out. They have distance markers set up, but uh, we have entirely given this up in Florida because, well, data. In fact, I'll just break for a second to remind everyone that this is one of the more comically inaccurate things the CDC got wrong. Ready, let's go. Okay. And off we go! Yeah, this is a, a good slide. It's longer than I thought it was, and a couple of really twisty turns, but whoa! Super fun. And at the end, there's a special treat for all of us Epcot lovers, and it's coming up right now. I, well, maybe not right now, but I am headed... Oh no, it's next. I am headed into... The Rainbow Tunnel! Yay! And whoa! Whoa! Splash down. Super fun. Okay. Whoa. All right. The worst part, though, is you got to carry these all the way up there. And uh, with the uh, crowd level, the way it is, you don't get a break. Uh, this is like the third time in three minutes. We are green for go. Whee! Whoa! Oh no! Oh! Oh 
boy. I, all right, I should not be scared. This is the third time I've done this. And oh, boy. Bam. Uh, oh, pedal. Oh, turn. Oh, drop. Oh, turn. Oh, my God, he's going fast. God, it's, oh, it's dark. Not darker. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Oh, picking up speed. Into the tunnel. Yay. And. Down. I guess next up will be one of the mat slides. There's four courses, but they all pretty much look the same. I think now is a good time to go before they run out of mats. The rack is pretty much entirely full, so I know there might be two or three guests up there. Yeah, let's, let's do it now uh, while we can. Guys, word of warning, if you're in shape, this one's a little rough. The uh, yellow and pink one is a family slide, minimum two riders. So hopefully, during the course of the afternoon, I can uh, run into a cruise friend and take a ride. But I guess this is one of the drawbacks of such an empty sailing. There's there's actually nobody here. I know, I know. Uh, I've I've shown some scenes of some pretty intense crowds, but uh, there's actually fewer people here than uh, it makes it look like. I have done what amounts to the kitty <laughs> big slides. Uh, this purple one and the yellow one here. They're not too bad, although uh, I, I really can feel the joints, which is, uh, yeah, kind of why I kind of stay away from these now, but uh, maybe one or two more. There's uh, not the red one. Well, maybe. The yellow looks okay, and I know that blue one might be all right. Although this purple one here, I barely made it out of the entrance, or exit. Yeah, I barely made it out of the exit. However, it is noon, and while that burrito was very satisfying at the time, it actually did not last very long. So I think my next stop will be lunch and uh, an accompaniment. Then uh, maybe the tube slide again, maybe look for a cruise friend. Then I kind of would rather go back to the uh, floating bar for a little bit. All right. Well, uh, goodbye, Tower of Power, or Devil's Peak, that's what it is. Uh, we will see you soon enough. I just came to one of the food lines to get something to eat, and unlike yesterday, at least there's at least a bee's worth of activity here today, so it's a little bit nicer. Today's buffet lunch is the barbecue chicken? No, it's not jerk chicken. I should read the sign next time. Same Mexican rice with uh, onions and mushrooms ran into uh, some folks from Food and Beverage. Had a nice little chat. Anyway, uh, it was good yesterday, so we're looking forward to it uh, being good today. And then, I don't know, I'm really thinking floating bar. And uh, after that, I don't know, maybe I won't have to make a decision. Ooh, she's a bitch today. And I mean the heat and the sun. I am drenched, but it's not from the water. So I mean the pools or whatever. I'm gonna have to go and probably down a couple cups of water uh, just to stay hydrated, which is always a good thing. Okay, see, going to theme parks does teach you some important life lessons. Then I am going to have to make a decision, uh, go back to thrills and uh, do the last couple of slides. I know, <laughs> the last couple of slides, <laughs> so quick. Or head out to the floating bar. I go, oh my God. <sighs> okay, why do I do this to myself? All right, water first. Oh, let me tell you. Uh, lunch, the barbecue chicken, it was barbecue. Uh, the mushrooms, onions, and the rice was really good. It was just like good food. Um, and it was better food than I expected for like here on an island. So uh, yeah, I, that was very enjoyable. Better than most of the stuff I've been getting on the ship. So, all right, water, water. That is the most important thing right now, water. But first, this will probably be one of the very, very, very few opportunities I get to go through a splash zone without it being just a little bit strange. So let's take a walk and get wet. And parents, don't get jealous that you can't do this because uh, we both know that this water is definitely clean. A fountain is our first dangerous obstacle. Oh, and then there's some stairs. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh, let's duck under. and. Avoid getting too wet. Oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah, I knew what I was getting into. Oh dear. Okay, let's navigate around these. And whoa, whoo, wow, that one got a little too personal. 
Oh, oh at least my shoes are going to be clean. And then, uh oh, the bucket. When is that going to go off? Oh my god, there it goes! Oh no! All right. That oh, wasn't so bad. Uh, oh dear. A dangerous rope bridge. All right, will we make it across? I'm about to traverse the bridge. All right, well, wish me luck. Actually, you know what? This could be really slippy. Slippery. Oh yeah, I know it's not too bad. I guess they used some uh, super sticky paint. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. I made it. All right, well, uh, whew, that was oddly satisfying. There's our next set of obstacles, which I think we can, uh, there we go. Let's thread the needle through here. Uh-oh, oh no, oh, woo. I missed the bucket that time. But, uh, oh, this one, definitely, we're not going to be able to get around. So, here we go, under the water. Oh, more jets, oh no. Uh, we're almost at the end. Look, just a few more steps and we will have made it. Oh, I can see, I can see the finish line. Oh, one more fountain. Okay, ready? Let's duck under and oh, we are out of there. Aha, there you go. Splash zone, I beat you. Okay, perhaps more thrilling than the Devil's Tower. We are embarking on the kitty slide. Oh! oh. Okay, that's that's dangerously shallow. <laughs> yeah, after that slide, I am good to go. So, yeah, Devil's Tower, let's do it. No, I'm not going to. It's too long, and they're not rough. These are relatively new, but they're still kind of uncomfortable. And remember, I'm I'm old. This is the view from Devil's Peak, Devil's Tower, either one of the uh, gorgeous adventure of the seas. Uh, good slide, fast, and it's actually pretty smooth. Uh, it didn't bother me at all. Uh, it's a long ride, so just be aware of that. But uh, Oh, and today, <laughs> let me tell you, the workout to get here is, well, I don't know if it's the worst part or what, but just, you know, don't do legs if it's a low, Crowd day. All right, here we go. All right, not so bad. It, it does get faster, but uh, oh boy, and there's that one place where you uh, get tossed around by right? change of direction, but it's not so bad. Oh, Rainbow Tunnel. The problem is the end just is a surprise. Slightly different view of the gorgeous adventure of the seas. I think this is the last slide I need to do over here. So uh, we're gonna do that and then I will, I will be done with Devil's Tower, Devil's Peak, except for the drop slides, which I'm sorry, I keep repeating, I don't like. But uh, then I'm gonna try and find a friend to ride the family slide, but there's no one here. Literally no one here. I see one guest and crew uh, over <laughs> in the rest of the park. So my chances are, uh, I don't know, not looking good. But we'll be back, for sure. And we will all be able to do the family slide. All right, here we are, Green Mamba. Let's go! Whoa! I haven't been on this one before, but it is very colorful. Ooh, number four rainbow tunnels. Okay, this one's kind of slow and meandering. Imagine, imagine certain things, if certain things, which, I don't know. Anyway, uh, oh boy, whoa, now she's speaking up to me. There we go, there we go, oh, just in, and oh. All right, well, didn't make it too far that time either. Uh. Uh. And out, and I got my card. Oh, by the way, major props to the crew here for rescuing my CPAS card from my first trip down, uh, the Devil's Peak. It fell out of my button's pocket, so uh, be aware of that. It's just two o'clock, so I think my best bet is to hang around here and see if any of my uh, cruise friends show up, get a group to try the family slide. I don't know, wait a few minutes. Who knows? There's nobody here though, so we'll see. We will see. All right, slingshot. See, it's easy to make cruise friends. Uh, are we good? I guess. We just go, all right, whoop. And uh, off we, ah, uh, 
Oh, go! Backwards. Not really what I was expecting, but <laughs> that's fine. I wonder if this one has a rainbow tunnel like all the other ones! There we go! Okay. I really have no idea what to expect, but this is it, I guess? Okay. Oh, we're outside. Oh, the clouds are forming, so we'll see. There was a lightning storm in the forecast. Oh god, here's the big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't want to get wet. Oh, Mission accomplished. Oh, right then. Well, I made it. All right. All right, well, <laughs> bye. I don't know what you call this, a rope swing or something, but I haven't seen anything like this since River Country. So let's give it a try and bring back those memories. The skies are turning gray on Coco Cay. Doesn't look too bad. It's this not looking like what's gonna get real nasty or it could just be far enough away that uh, it won't affect us. I am gonna hobble over to the floating bar, maybe stop by the wave pool, not wave pool, oasis pool, and see how things are there and uh, make a decision. It's uh, just after two o'clock, so still got about three hours of fun. As predicted, I am back to full hobbling speed. Yeah. The knee is causing problems, but it's okay. I'm just gonna walk slow and, uh, I don't know, I'll get there eventually. It's not like I'm in a huge rush. And if I go to the floating bar, there is a tram stop or it goes right by there. So I can always catch a ride back to the ship. So uh, no worries at all. In fact, wait a minute. That is a tram stop right there, but I think the floating bar is just over there. So let's, uh, let's just, Go right there first. I'm not gonna tell you why. All right, before I forget, one of the weirdest protocols that I've seen, and this even beats Disney, is they want you to use hand sand before going on a water slide. After you've gotten out of water that is loaded up with presumably bromine, and you're going to be splashed down into the same water, also loaded with bromine, they want you to hand sanitize. I'm really trying to figure that one out. Can anyone help me, <laughs> please? Well, how about that? We even got kites flying. And uh, yeah, apparently they let guests bring kites and fly them on the beach. Something I never would have considered. And if I had, thought uh, someone or a company like Royal would probably ban it. But hey, uh, if this is your thing, well, if this is your place. Perks, Looking to spend the rest of the green. afternoon <laughs> here on the floating bar. Good opportunity to give a huge compliments to the crew here on Coco K. Everything is working. Uh, nothing appears to be down or offline or, you know, in uh, maintenance or whatever. So all the water slides are working fine. I mean, it's not really stressed, but everything seems to be like ready for every guest to be here. So hey, thanks. We really appreciate it. You know, not having to deal with, uh, you know, this being closed, that being closed. And, uh, yeah, definitely look forward to coming back. So, uh, great job, guys. It is just after 4 o'clock and the wind has really picked up, which means something is headed this way. So, I am going to probably pass by the pool. I do want to take a dip, rinse all the salt off, and head back to the ship. Probably hobble, unless I see a tram, but by the time I get to past the pool to where there would be a tram. Oh, it would be the tram just on the pier, which I'm okay with. All right, well, let's go uh, get rinsed off and get out of here. It's possible the Oasis pool here on Coco Cay is the world's most expensive bird bath, but they're enjoying it. It's about 45 minutes to all aboard, and this will be my last look at an empty Coco Cay, at an empty Coco Cay. I will be back, but we will never have this again so we are all so thankful that we had this opportunity to experience this like uh, very very few people will i had an amazing time it did turn out to actually be a perfect day everything went as planned and had a blast got everything done that i wanted and well gonna remember it or gonna, gonna just watch this again i guess uh so totally awesome 
can't really say enough wonderful positive things about the island and especially the crew who worked so hard to get everything ready for us and like I said everything was ready they are all so friendly and helpful and just nice people and I am so glad that they are back to work and I think it's an absolute shame that there are people making decisions who don't care about them that is tragic but it's okay because we are all back and happy for it. Like I said, there might be a battle looming, but it will be a battle over, well, a few inconsequential uh, dollars. And that is why, after all of this, I am especially thankful for my problems.